Adding printers in Windows 7 is going to be a little bit different than adding printers with XP. So to begin, click on the Start button, and you're going to find Devices and Printers. The old button said Printers and Faxes. So click on Devices and Printers, and you will see two options at the top, Add a Device and Add a Printer. Choose Add a Printer, and then you're going to choose a Network Printer. This first screen in the wizard will ask you to select a printer that's automatically suggested. You can scroll through and see if you find your desired printer, but in most cases, go ahead and choose the printer that I want isn't listed. Then you're going to click on Find a Printer in the Directory based on a location or feature, unless you know the actual server location of the printer, in which case you could type it in in this box. I'm going to choose Find a Printer in the Directory, and then click Next. It gives me this screen that allows me to search through the directory. So I'm going to actually make this a little bit bigger. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to sort by name and look for my printer. So I'm going to scroll down until I find my printer. I'm going to add the middle school Xerox printer, which is middle school Xerox workroom. Once I have that selected, I click on OK. And you will see it will connect to the printer. And then it will ask you, do you trust this printer? It needs to install software. That's the biggest change in Windows 7. You're going to need to download drivers for Windows 7. I do trust this printer. I'm the one that chose it, so I'm going to click install driver and you will see it pull that driver off of the network and you'll only do this once it's connecting and then wrapping up and then I have successfully added that middle school Xerox workroom printer to my computer so I click next and then I can print a test page but in this case I don't want to I'm going to click finish and then underneath my printers, I see listed Middle School Xerox Workroom. It has this check, so I know that it is my default printer. If I wanted to ever change my default printer, I could select another printer and then go down to Set as Default, but in this case, I want this printer to be my default.